As the Aerospace Museum was burning to the ground, no one knew how long it would take to rebuild. But through long hard work, hundreds of San Diegans joined forces and started an ambitious project to build another aerospace museum. Those efforts paid off big dividends today. And while it's perfectly true that that terrible fire, that senseless waste, deprived us of some things that we will never be able to replace, it did in fact catch fire to a spirit here in San Diego to see to it that we have one of the very finest aerospace museums and aerospace hall of fame existing anywhere in the world. As the mayor cut the ribbon, more than 500 anxious people poured through the entrance. Displays like this moon rock caught the immediate attention of many. And the collection of planes is just about second to none. 24 original and replicas are now on display. There's even a replica of the Wright Flyer, the first aircraft to achieve powered and controlled flight. A World War I bomber, which was later converted to a mail plane, is also there. And there was even a remote-controlled Goodyear blimp, which caught a lot of people off guard. And everyone was impressed with the Ford building as well. Nearly $3 million was spent to renovate the building and acquire all the displays. San Diego has good reason to be excited over its new aerospace museum. So everyone involved in this immense project can be very proud of their accomplishments. The museum, by the way, will be open every day, 10 to 4.30, and admission will be free on Tuesday. Jesse Macias, News 8, Balboa Park.